Hello and welcome to Infinity. Yesterday, one of my or our viewers, John, uh, made a very helpful comment pointing to a plugin that I've never heard of. So I checked it out. It seems completely legit. So I downloaded it and installed it and it's it's quite amazing. So let's have a look at it. It's GMA, GMIC or Gracie's Magic for Image Computing. It can be found here, gmic.eu. I think it's French in origin, by the way. Uh, and under here, it tells you all about it, including that it's a plugin for various things, including Affinity Photo. So if you click on the download, then you'll get to this page here, the download page. Scroll down this page here, and you will find this one. Look, picture of Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo here. So there, you click on the stable there. Notice it is just for Windows. It's not for Mac. Sorry. And you get to this page, which is GitHub, which is where you get source code for programmers and so on. And then down here, this is the one you want. Jimic plugin x64.zip. Um, I avoided all installers, by the way, because I don't want to mess around with the system and it works just fine without being installed. You're just going to copy it, the contents, to a folder. That's all you're going to do. No install messing around. And then what you get is when it's downloaded, this is the download. If you open that download, you get some files here and a folder with a lot more stuff in. Select all of this and copy and paste it to a new folder somewhere, anywhere you like. Because then what you're going to do is to go to Edit, Preferences, Photoshop Plugins, click on Add, and then in here, go to the folder where it is. So mine's here is in Program Files, GMIC. Okay, so uh, when you've done that, it will want you to restart. and It will do it for you, which is just fine. And then we can go to, wait for it, drum rolls, filters, plugins, GMIC, and here it is GMIC. This one here lets you set up a couple of folder things, which is no problem. Well, let's just go straight to the folder to have a look what it is. I'm not going to be able to cover anywhere near the amount, apart from the fact that I've only looked at it for a day, and also because there's just so much there. As they say, there's, there's something like 500 filters there. Well, the first thing I do here is to go to full screen. You can drag the boundaries here to make the image you see here bigger. Uh, you can play around with the zoom level, but sometimes it will only show you a bit and it won't zoom out to see the whole thing, which is a bit annoying. I think it's to do with the speed. The other thing is it, it uses enormous amounts of processing power. I don't know if it uses hardware acceleration, but you do need a fairly, either a lot of patience or a big processor. I've got a an i9, Intel i9, with a whole bunch of memory, and it still takes time. So, but let's have a look at this. The, you can open up any of these. Let's look at artistic, and look at something here. Barbouillage paint daub. By the way, I know that this, by the way, is going to take this bit in here, so look for the number 17. And there it is there. So that's 17. It's only allowed to show this. And if you wait for it there, look at that amazing effect. There's the number 17 and all the shapes here. And all these things do very, very similar things or all kinds of other things with it. And you know, look at, say, Ghost. And you're going to get something just like, wow, look at this. You know, you can you can just drag the, drag this around. See those guys there? Look, you can see the shape of the person there, and all kinds of things like that. Look at all these things. These are just the art things. Vector painting. Look at this. This is a, a like a, a a vector, and you can control this. Yeah, you can bring things down here. Oh, look, that's pretty. You know. Obscure, so you have to go probably near the top, but you can see it's very, very clever stuff. Let's go down one more here. And 
what else can we do with this? Let's do a pencil portrait. And it should give a picture here. Okay, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Then, then when you're done, you click OK. It will come back here. And this will start flashing backwards and forwards. And it will go on for a long time sometimes because it's just how much time it takes to process. You do need to go and have a cup of coffee or something until it's done. But meanwhile, you can explore all of these things in here. There is just loads and loads and loads of stuff in here. Right, anyway, I will pause it until it comes back again. OK, here we are. And uh, it's an amazing picture. Even with a very fast machine, that took one and a half minutes to process. So you need patience, but look at the result. Isn't this just amazing? And you, know, you can zoom into this. You can see the effect. It really does look like a sketch. And you can also do things. So here's a trick, by the way. If I hit Control C, I've copied it. Control Z, undo goes back to the original. Then Control V pastes it back again. So I've now got the original there again if I forgot to duplicate the layer. But now I can just do something like do an overlay. And now I've got an interesting effect. I've got the colour back. But look at this. Look at the, the, the just look at the buildings there. You've got that effect then blended back in again. And you could mask areas of it as well and so on. So anyway, there you go. That's just an amazingly powerful plugin to do all kinds of effects. And it's free. Amazing. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.